What's going on, Internet? Scott here. I'm at GDC at Sandboxer here with TJ Young. TJ, tell me a little yep. bit about your company and what it's all about. Okay, we are uh, we're basically a merchandising platform here at GDC, uh, meeting as many game companies as possible. And the service that we offer is that we will take game content, um, your favorite characters, your, their, your favorite um, characters' assets, like their swords and their guns or, or whatever accessories that they use, upload it onto our site and and be able to, with that, with that content, customize your own 3D print, your own souvenir of the experience. Um, so, like, for instance, here, this is a, a lovely little character from Supervillain Studios. So, how does this, how do, what is the pro, do you just uh, send you a 3D model and then you guys can print anything? Pretty much, like, you, um, so if you send us your, your 3D models, your files, um, and you can use that amongst a lot of the other stuff that we have. We have a library full of files and models. Um, and, uh, and, and with that, create your own creation. So if you're like me and, you know, don't model, don't, don't animate, uh, I can just go on to Sandboxer and, and use what you guys have and create my own? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go on to Sandboxer. We have a, you know, we have a whole library full of assets that you can play with. Um, and not only that, but a lot of them have animations, and so you can scrub through their animations, um, or, or they're rigged, and so you can actually go in and pose the model the way that you want to. Um, you can add, again, you can have weapons or hats or accessories, and you can make you can create a battle scene where two of the characters are are battling each other, or two of the characters are sitting down and having tea together. It's it's totally up to you. Is this uh, is this available now for the public, or are you guys in a beta? We're, we're in beta phase right now. Um, and we're currently on Kickstarter, so if you if you uh, if you pledge on Kickstarter, then you'll have you know first access to the technology. Um, and the Kickstarter campaign ends April 11th, and, and then shortly after that is when we're going to be opening up to the general public. So when you are opened up to the general public, how much will it cost to for someone like me to come onto your site and print a 3D model? That's the best part. We're we're, we're trying to keep the prices so low that kids can save their allowance and, and buy this. Um, so generally, it's going to start somewhere around like fifteen to twenty dollars for a small print, um, and then go up from there. A lot of it depends on how much of the composite material that that's actually using, um, and what kind of finish you want on it. So there, there are ways of making it much stronger, or shinier. Um, so it's, those are all different options that we that we provide. Now these are these prints are are kind of different than uh, most three D prints that you're seeing with the with the kind of bargain. 3D printers that you see out there. What is what is your process? How do you get how do you get all these colors and, and stuff on there? So we we use uh, well right now it's the only full color 3D printer that's even available, um, and it's uh, the Z Corp 650. And so what that does is it lays down a very fine um, layer of powder, and then it and then it colors and glues that layer, and then it layers another fine layer until eventually it fill it, you know it creates the entire thing. So this might be a couple thousand layers of a very fine powder. And so that's how we get the full the the full scope of textures and colors that you see. That's so cool. You know, I actually I actually did use your website I, earlier earlier today. I heard through the grapevine that you might have. Yeah, <laughs> I used it. I I created I created I took your little chef character, and um, I gave him an axe. I put him on I put him on uh, some wood, and then for the hell of it, I was like, oh, you know what? There's a frying pan. Let's just put that in there for fun. And I heard that you guys might have it here somewhere for me. I, th I think so. I, th I think it actually got bumped into. And so of course it did. It's, it's being repaired currently, but we can take a look at All it. Right, let's see how it's going. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, behind the wizard's curtain we go. Okay, so, so this is Dusty. He's our head technician. Hey, Dusty. <laughs> How's it going? We, we don't trust delicate objects with anybody else. Dusty is our guy. So if, if there is something that needs to be sent to triage, it goes right into the delicate fingers of Dusty here. This is, this is amazing. This, I'm... I'm actually super thrilled that that something I created and posed is staring right at me with an axe in his hand now, <laughs> and, and he's super glued. And Dusty is holding them together, and I I'm so this is the coolest thing. This is the coolest thing I, I got at GDC. All right, well if you wanna if you wanna learn more about Sandboxer, check out the channel. All the information is gonna be down there, and subscribe for more tech feed. I got a toy! I got a toy out of it! <laughs>